Hey guys, it's Fox here, and today I will be doing something that isn't doll customizing. How odd. <laughs> Anyways, I will be putting together a little DIY miniature scene in a tin. I have never done one of these before, and I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Anyways, this is what comes in the package. It comes with bags containing all of the items, a little tin, an instruction booklet, and a stand. So just so you can see, these are what all the little baggies come with. It comes with all of the bits and bobs that make the furniture, the house itself, things like that. But I'm just going to unbox those really quickly so you can sort of get an idea of what's in this kit. It is worth noting that even though my instructions said it came with supplies, I did not have any glue, tweezers, or any other sort of tool to use for it, so I had to supply that myself. So first things first, we're going to glue down the scenery for the top and bottom of the tin. Next, I'm going to be putting in the frame. Now this holds the batteries and lights and also it's what the um, scenery sits upon. <laughs> and I thought that the lights were going to be the hardest part, but it turns out you just wrap the gray wires together and wrap the white wires together and make sure not to cross them and then it works perfectly fine. So look at me, I can be an electrician. <laughs> So now we're making a little sign. This goes over the hole where the batteries are on the frame. Just kind of covers it up and makes it look all nice. And then we will be doing some more electrical work and we'll be wrapping the lights around the tin. So this little piece of paper is supposed to be like a little frozen pond and um, the house is supposed to sit next to it. So we just put that right in the corner and then we'll put things over it, I guess. <laughs> and then we'll be starting out the roof. Guys, this is the first DIY I've ever done, DIY miniature thing that I've ever done. So I apologize, there's a lot of mistakes, it's not perfect. Please be patient with me. So now we can start putting on the designs on its respective piece now that we've finished the roof components. These are all parts of the house. It was kind of like uh, how I imagined putting up wallpaper is, 
Although I've never done that, so it's probably nothing like that. So uh, don't listen to me. But it was fun just to kind of zone out and create stuff for a little bit, if that makes sense. So now I'm putting together pieces of the stairs. This was actually kind of cool because the stairs have a little clock on the side and you were supposed to put um, this little metal ring on the clock to make it kind of 3D. And I thought that was a really, really nice little detail that they put in. There's a lot of little details here and there that I thought were extremely impressive and I was very, very happy with this miniature. So now we're doing pieces of the floor. So, as I said before, this is my first DIY miniature thing I've ever done. So there's gonna be a lot of mistakes. One of the mistakes I've made was that I forgot to add in one of the floors on the diorama. So everything's kind of crooked when I put it together. You will see at the end but <laughs> if you make this, please remember both pieces of flooring. One goes on the bottom and one goes on the top. I forgot the one on the bottom. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, now we're putting together a fireplace. This is when I kind of realized this is miniature, like miniature miniature, like this is really, really, really tiny. I don't know why, but I was shocked at how tiny some of the things I was making were. Because for this little fireplace, you have to add a shelf on it. And then there's also like a little plant and a little plate decor that you put on it. They were so tiny. <laughs> it was like, it was so cute. They were just so itty bitty.
So now we go on to the balcony now that we're done with the fireplace. I actually messed up on the balcony because you're supposed to put like the little bars, the little fence on it. Um, and I couldn't figure out how to make it properly, so I ended up kind of improvising it. You'll see at the end because I didn't actually include that in the clip. Next we're making a sign. This is supposed to be a little hotel during winter, so this is the sign for the hotel. So now it's time to set up the house. This will include putting in all of the walls and the fireplace and the balcony, things like that. I have not yet made the items for the house, but I will be doing that right after this. Ooh, you see that little tilt right there? That's where I messed up. <laughs> and I couldn't figure it out until I threw away all the trash afterwards and I found that piece and I was like, so that's why everything didn't quite fit properly. But yes, if you make this, please remember the floors. Now that our house is made, it's time to go on to the decor. First, we're going to start off with a very tiny little reception desk, a table, some chairs, and a bed. There's also this very tiny desk that comes with a very, very tiny lamp and some tiny papers to put on top of it. It is 
so cute <laughs> and how tiny it is, oh my gosh. I omitted a few things here and there just because my big old hands were in the way and things were too tiny, but now it is time to finally decorate our little tiny hotel. So I added a few more details like the plants on the sides, the little bridge, things like that. Um, I just didn't film it. And we finally added in our little bunnies that live there. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. I thought it'd be cute to have one of them sitting on the bed and one of them outside in the snow. And it also came with a little bunny shaped sand. So I'm actually going to paint that blue to match the box. And now we are finally complete. What do you think? Oh my gosh, I just can't get over how tiny and cute this is. I love miniature things so much, so I had so much fun doing this. If you are interested in this kit, I will leave a link in the description box. I am not affiliated with them at all, but you know, I love sharing craft ideas. So if you're interested, the link will be there. Thank you so much for watching, thanks for putting up with my mistakes, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that other good stuff, and I will see you later. Bye!